of the Astros quest for another championship title. The series is tied one game of pieces. We head to Philly for games three, four, and five. Yes, the Astros will be playing in what's expected to be a hostile environment with some very verbal fans. Our Zach Lajway is live in Philly this morning outside the historic Independence Hall. Good morning. Oh, and good morning. We call those fans passionate people. Almost <laughs> as historic as Independence Hall, right? We got to give them some credit. Passion is, passion is maybe appropriate. But yes, this morning outside of Independence Hall, this, as we know, is very historic and almost as historic as Independence Hall. Almost, not quite, is this throwback Astro sweater from 1986. You might know what I'm talking about, but that sweater, too, has ties to Philadelphia. Nestled in Philadelphia's neighborhood is a sports apparel store called Mitchell and Ness. Been in business since 1904. Stephen DePaulo is a store associate and assistant manager at the company's flagship store. They got the Phillies with the iconic powder blue and the burgundy, which has always been a fan favorite. And then on the other side, of course, you got the Astros, the Starburst stripes. You can't go wrong. Mitchell and Ness is known as the official provider for throwback apparel for MLB, NFL, and NBA. While the store has no shortage of Phillies fan wear, it does have some treasures from H-Town. We got Nolan Ryan, of course. Can't go wrong. As well as uh, Jose Cruz, former Astro, came before him. Uh, and last but not least, when the Astros started changing up their uniforms, Got a 1994 Cagbiggio here. A hot ticket item, this Astro sweater from 1986. This right here is the talk of the town, and I want one. Play ball. Made famous and worn by Kate Upton at Game 7 of the ALCS in 2017. Since then, Mitchell and Ness says it has sold more than 25,000 units of this sweater to the Astros online and local stores throughout Houston, making it a top seller for the franchise. And it is pretty hot. Mitchell and Ness says it just received an order from the Astros for 4,200 units of that sweater for next year. As of right now, the store, the flagship store in the neighborhood, still they have plenty of those sweaters. So if Houston fans, Astros fans are coming to town, that's where they can go to get that sweater. We'll have much more on coverage. Uh, the World Series coverage game three coming up right here on KPRC2. Owen and Lisa. Interesting. I didn't know that sweater was made in Philly. I, I guess I never put two and two together. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, Zach, we appreciate it.